Hey there everybody, this is Vanessa. Welcome to my channel. I usually get my ideas for channels when I'm out working, so that's when I have my best thinking time. So today we're going to use an example of something that happened in my life on my farm um, to help you make a decision in your own business of when is it the right time to hire somebody. Because eventually you have to hire somebody to help you if you want to, to start to grow. And in the beginning, it's hard because um, you're not making a lot of money and you, it has to be the right time to justify it. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to give you a little story. Um, it's Story Friday, right? I'm going to give you a story about something I had to make a decision on here on the farm, whether or not we were going to do it ourselves or hire it out. So stick around and I'll, we'll jump right in. Now, obviously, I'm going to tell you, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. And every Tuesday and Friday, you will have a new video, how to turn your passion into profit using YouTube and adding that affiliate marketing as one of your income streams. I'm actually working on a course, uh, a blueprint for that. So keep watching. One day that blueprint will be ready and a course behind it. And you'll know exactly what I would do if I were to start from scratch. Because that's what I've been looking for when I, right in the beginning, why doesn't somebody have a blueprint to follow? And I'll, I'll share that story and share that blueprint once it's finished. But I just want to give you a heads up. All right, so what are we, what are we talking about today? So here's my story. I, we have a truck that we, bought several years ago this one here and we bought it from an old city um, municipal building up in Cleveland we lived down in southern Indiana the night we drove it home it was snowing really bad and thank God it had a snow plow on the front but it was horrible that night but we use this a lot for our driveway um, I have a driveway there's a the, out to the mailbox it goes through the trees um, it's about a fourth of a mile long and look at all that gravel that needs to be put down <laughs> you can see it growing in the, the middle but after using the truck for several years, we decided that by the time you pay the insurance, make the repairs, do the tires and things like that, now that we have the base, it's not worth it anymore. So we did, we made a decision that we're gonna sell it. That's why I'm out here today taking pictures of it. And we're just gonna start renting our equipment. We could rent two pieces of equipment, um, one to come in a skid steer and make all this nice and flat. And the other piece of equipment is a a truck, a trailer, that'll, we can get the gravel, pick it up ourselves, and go ahead and put it down the driveway. So one day you'll see this driveway all nice and pretty. Um, right now it needs gravel. <laughs> but that's a decision we made. Instead of getting this truck fixed, we're going to sell it as is, let somebody who's a mechanic um, have fun with it, and then from there we will start to rent. And it's probably going to cost less money, and our time of not taking care of this will be less as well. So what does that have to do with your business? Well, let me show you. So have you started feeling like this yet where everything in your brain is about to explode? You have so many different things on the table, not only in your job, but with your, with your life and you just don't have enough hours in the day. You will start to feel this way when you know what you need to do. In the beginning, when you're not so sure and you're just plugging along, you probably don't feel this way yet. You're more probably in a state of confusion, like what should I do? But when you do know what you need to do and you've been trying to do all of it by yourself, you will start feeling like this, I promise you. There will come a day that you need to start hiring someone. And it's a very, very, very scary thing to do. It's scary because you don't want to waste your money hiring somebody that's not going to do the job right or, you know, isn't uh, performing up to your satisfaction. So it is scary and that will happen. Sometimes you'll hire people that aren't the right fit and sometimes they're wonderful, but that's just part of life and we have to get over that part. So we call this outsourcing. You are outsourcing part of your work so somebody else can do it for you to free up your time. We also call it hiring virtual assistants. So when you, when you hear other um, people talk about, I'm hiring a VA, that's a virtual assistant. Somebody who you meet online that can help you do some of your work. Now, what are some of the jobs that they can do? They can help do graphics. Maybe you are working on a project that has uh, maybe a sales funnel and you have a lot of graphic design or a website and you want somebody to do that part for you. Or maybe you want to hire them for the copyright part. You're really good at design, but you just aren't really good with words. What about Communication, maybe you are starting to get a lot of emails, which is great, a lot of comments on your videos and DMs on your Instagram and you just can't keep up. You don't wanna waste your time 
doing that. Yes, you want to um, engage with people and you want to connect, but you can hire somebody to help you with that. You might want to get a videographer. Maybe you just suck at putting your videos together, or maybe it's just really, really time consuming. That would be a good place to put your money. Um, emails. You've started an email marketing list, but you're not really sure what kind of emails to put out. Somebody will write those for you and take care of that. Um, maybe you like to edit your own videos but it takes it does take time to upload them and put the description and do the end screens and all that part that's something pretty safe that you could hire somebody to do so those are just some ideas what i would like you to do i'm going to give you five different places you can go to hire people that's outsource your work and then i want you after you watch the video write those five down i'll have the links below so you can just copy and paste them don't worry about writing but then i want you to get out a notebook <laughs> that's where i write my ideas write write everything that you do and i i like to see it visually that's why i like to do it on a notebook but wherever whatever if you want to do it on your phone whatever works for you some people would prefer that but find that place that you can think and write everything down, everything you do, and start, I love to do this, these are things, uh, I, I'm okay, but I'd prefer somebody else to do it, or maybe things I suck at. Um, so make those three columns, that you've got the stuff in the middle, eh, it could go either way, stuff I suck at and stuff I, stuff I love, and then you can see what are some things I can hire other people to do. Now, before, we'll go ahead and start looking um, at these different places, and I can kind of explain to you some of the different things that you can um, hire out but this is one of my favorite places is Upwork I go here most of the time um, and what would you right now you can go to the site upwork.com and it says find a professional so let's say I'm just looking for someone to make my channel art on my on my uh, YouTube channel okay so I'm just gonna click that this is one of the cheapest things that you can hire the, these people will also if you're writing an ebook they can make design covers for your ebook they can make uh, designs for your Facebook group banner and this gives you an idea of what some of these people charge now as you can see I just said channel art but some of these people also do other things this person says I'm a YouTube guru they do everything sounds like she's very experienced she's already earned a hundred thousand dollars Andrew Audrey Andrew <laughs> Adriana I didn't mean to I was trying to say Adriana Adriana but as you go down you can see some of these uh, get lower in price and what you, you really have to do is go in look at their description what they do how long how much money have they earned um how what's their job success rate where are they from all those things may matter to you i actually found a woman to write my um take my my transcripts from my videos and she writes my blogs from that while that's my words she takes it she ed edits it she she just gets it all ready and posts it and does everything puts the seo on there everything she's out of australia i absolutely love her she is very responsible um i noticed i used to think i need and i'm going to be honest i used to think i had to hire somebody younger because of social media and I, I assumed that younger people would be you know better with all the social media stuff and actually she's closer to my age and she has been phenomenal so um maybe your um, older generation might be more reliable younger might be more um, creative i don't know i'm just putting a judgment out there but for me that worked out well um all right here's another one it's called freelancers.com um i don't have an account i have not used this one so um here if you hit hire freelancer they're going to have you post a job right away um so you can go right in um we can look up here at browse jobs um maybe you want somebody to design a website and and let's write that in design website and we'll search and this is an online job and here are um, these people are actually some of them are working by the hour and some of them say their average bid is 189 dollars so what they're trying to tell you is it's not going to be much less than that that's actually not bad um, now here if you really want someone to design this is probably even 250 to 750 a good price if you've got nothing okay um some people um charge by the hour now you have to remember it does it somebody who's charging less is probably new as a freelancer so they're trying to get their testimonials built up people who charge more have already had a lot of success so you can take a chance do i want to give somebody a chance to see what their 
made of and they could be some awesome talented people that you got to start somewhere or you might want to spend more money and go right to the top i don't know i did not um, hire somebody to do a website so these prices are all over the place but again it takes time it's scary but you can i've what i have done is i've asked them to show me some of their portfolios so that i can see what they um have i went in here too this is fiverr.com i have used fiverr.com i was doing a lot of design when i was doing some of an ebook and i was doing pamphlets and some of my freebies that i give out and i found a couple that worked together and i think they were out of indonesia and oh awesome work she, he did the design and she did the copyright or vice versa but they worked together as a couple very reasonable it came out to like 10 to 20 dollars per design that they made but it saved me so much time and that was the first person that i had hired um again here are a lot of websites here that i have up um and i think the other one was called um when i hired them it was called a cover design ebook cover design so you can search for that so that's three places and and again i just want you to get an idea oh my gosh <laughs> everything's popping up all over okay and here you can see five dollars ten dollars so design if you're a, a kind of you know scared worried about it start out with designing something and then you can kind of you know get your feet wet um the next one the fourth one is guru.com and you can find freelancers um what skill are you looking for so what haven't we looked for um upload youtube videos i'll be real specific okay and you can search or you can post the job if you know what you want just go ahead and post the job and they will they right away they will get back with you um they will match you with people and also people that are looking um, freelancers will also seek you out as well um, this person says um, web design 240 a year so they're charging a year virtual assistant down here now a virtual assistant could be somebody that just does different jobs for you um, they can i can assist your business in whatever capacity you require and i have a diverse range of tasks formatting ebooks file conversions this is great um, because sometimes you need that you need someone just to do a little bit of everything 25 dollars an hour is not bad eight to 25 that's not bad at all now sometimes they'll ask you do you only want people from the United States or will you hire somebody from anywhere I've hired from anywhere um I've hired actually the three times I've hired all three of them were out of the country I just I didn't want to I know that in the United States they cost more and they're lower in, in other countries but I just wanted to give everybody a chance because to me you know it wasn't so much the money it was the talent that i was looking for and i didn't want to only keep it to the united states but you can do that if you want um i've never had any language barriers or any like thing like that most people in other countries speak english um all right designhill.com is the last one build your brand with the number one creative marketplace and right here um this one is a very um they're into logos and things like that so if you're looking for someone to do a logo different design um that's specifically for that now on the flip side before we go you can also hire yourself out as a freelancer i know a lot of people when they start building their business or start building their youtube channel you're not going to make a lot of money in the beginning if any and what you can do is become a freelancer for other people maybe there is one specific area that you're very creative created in creative in and you could hire yourself out and make a little bit of money on the side if you're not working a full-time job obviously um a lot of people are working a full-time job and building their business so they don't have to worry about that but if you're young and you're just getting started maybe you're still in high school that's a way that you can bring some money in and not feel defeated when you're putting so much time into your business and not making money yet okay all right before i go make sure you put a comment below and tell me if you've used any of these five different sites and what do you think of them let me know if you've ever hired somebody or if you're looking to hire someone and you know what on top of that if you are a freelancer and you are hiring yourself out you are welcome to put your name below and let people know and give them a way to contact you i think all right that's all i've got for today thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video